Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well, this is Shetan here as Design Palette and I'm back again today with a new Webflow tutorial. In this Webflow tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the color of an SVG element which could be an icon or a logo when you hover on it. Now this is different than the regular hover interactions that you use on Webflow. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here I'm in Webflow and I've downloaded the SVG, uh, which is which is basically Webflow's logo over here to illustrate this concept. Now, before I get started, I just want to mention that if you guys have not checked out my free Webflow course for beginners that's there on my YouTube channel, it's got around 12 different videos, talks about building an entire landing page from scratch using uh, the design that's been created in Figma. I highly recommend you check it out. I explain the basics and the fundamentals of getting started in Webflow. Uh, we're going to build the whole structure, make it responsive, animations, interactions, and so much more. It's going to be really awesome and fun if you do check it out. And I do highly recommend it for those of you who are getting started in Webflow or you guys are beginners to Webflow. The link for this will be down below in the description. All right, so let's get back to Webflow here. So what I did as I went ahead and export and imported this SVG inside Webflow. Now this is not going to work uh, and that's the reason I'm going to show you why it's not going to work and you know how to make it work. So I'm going to take this SVG and I'm just going to drop this inside and it's going to be in the center, you know, like so. All right. And usually the way you want to add a hover interactions is we can go ahead and give it a class. Let's call this logo. All right. And the usual way is you would click choose hover and then you could come down and you would usually change the color over here. But unfortunately, that is not happening and that is not working over here. All right. So the way to fix that is by using a bit of custom code. Now, I'll be using an element called as HTML embed. Now, if you have a free account of Webflow, you might not be able to use the HTML embed. HTML embed is only for the pro account and higher. So you would need to have a paid account. Nevertheless, I think you should definitely check it out because I'm going to talk a little bit about custom code, which is really useful for you guys as well. And for me as a designer who has no idea how to code, this is going to be really helpful for me. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and then just delete this. Now I have the SVG logo over here in my downloads. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose open with, and now you can choose any kind of text editor. I'm gonna be using a simple notepad. So I'm gonna open that up and we're gonna get this bunch of code. You don't have to freak out. All you have to do is some simple copy paste work. That's it. You wanna search for the word SVG, all right? So we've got the word SVG over here, which is the closing tag. And you've got the SVG, which is the opening tag. You wanna copy it from there and you wanna skip everything else. So everything above that, you want to skip that. You want to start with this, which says SVG version. Sometimes it might not say SVG version. It's going to just say SVG. So you want to copy that from there. So press control C. And what we're going to do is we're going to come here to inside Webflow and I'm going to drop in an HTML embed. All right. So I'm just going to call it embed and it's going to open up this code editor for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press control V and that's it. All right. So if I go ahead and choose save and close, you can see that it's going to be so huge. So I'm going to go ahead and just reduce this down to um, 300. So actually I'm going to uh, set it to 300 over here. So we have the logo here. Now, if I go ahead and hover, I can't actually do anything. So we're going to set up the code for that. It's super simple. It's just one step. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for the word fill. All right. So press control F and I'm going to search for the word fill. And you can see that we have the word fill over here. So once you find it, you want to go ahead and select the color code that's there. And you want to change that to this exact word. You want to choose current, all right, C-U-R-R-E-N-T and capital C-O-L-O-R. So basically the word is current color. All right. You want to make sure that you put it exactly like this. And once you do, go ahead and choose save and close and you're basically done. Now, as you can see, the color changed. All right. So if I go here and I can click on the color and I can go ahead and change it to whatever I want, which is which is pretty cool and pretty awesome. All right. Let's say I change it to blue color. Now I can go ahead and add a simple hover interaction. So if I click on this and choose hover. All right. Now I have a combo class which is called hover and I can go ahead and change this to a different color on hover. Let's say I want to choose it to a pink color like so. All right. And that's it. I can go ahead and go back to the none state. And now if I go, you can see that I can change the color on hover, which is fantastic. Another thing that I could do is to make it nice is even to add a couple of transitions to make it smoother. So I can go ahead and choose um, text color uh, or the font color in this case, and maybe choose the duration to 350 milliseconds and choose some kind of a different easing. 
and uh, this should work pretty good. So if I hover, you can see that we have this nice hover interactions. So that's pretty much it on how you change the colors of SVGs in Webflow using custom code. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And do definitely check out my Webflow course on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.